What is up everybody and welcome to what are in my eyes the best mods for armor for Skyrim Special Edition that came out of 2016. As I make this video, I do fully suspect this may be a bit of a polarizing list. There's a huge variety of different armors for Skyrim, but one thing that really did stand out to me was a lot of standalone armor mods. Obviously, immersive armors did come out this past year, which is huge for a lot of people, but beyond that, a lot of the different armor mods were kind of just one standalone armor and it was simply going to be downloaded based on taste. You weren't going to be just downloading these to appear in your world because a lot of the armor mods we did get weren't actually meant to appear in your world. They were meant for you to use on your own character personally or maybe for a companion. For that reason, a lot of the armor mods you probably downloaded and a lot of the ones I downloaded are probably going to be based on our personal taste, so this list more so than any of the others are going to be based around that. With all that being said, if you guys do enjoy the content, I do encourage you to consider subscribing, but with that, let's just jump right into it. So at first we do have immersive armors, I'm sure this is going to come as no surprise to many of you. This is a mod that really defines Skyrim, it's a lot of people's must download mod, a lot of people wouldn't even start playing Skyrim Special Edition until this mod was installed. The simple reality as to why this is so popular is one, so many of the armors in this mod are really high quality, two, a lot of them are lore friendly, and three, and I think one of the most overwhelming aspects of it is it just includes so many different armors that are going to be implemented into the leveled list. When you play modded Skyrim, and especially with Skyrim Special Edition, you want your game to to feel and look differently. That's what Immersive Armors and its counterpart Immersive Weapons, which unfortunately has yet to be released for Skyrim Special Edition, does do for the game. It really just makes it so a lot of different enemies, guards, bandits, and even just you and yourself do look a lot different due to all these new different armors and just simply the much greater amount of variety that is available to you. In my eyes, it really is a vast improvement on the game. Again, just adding in all that variety really makes the game feel a lot more refreshing. And when you're actually taking on bandits for probably the 100th to 500th time, depending and how many times you played Skyrim. It is nice to see them wearing something different and you could loot them and it's a little bit exciting again. Again, this is one of the highest quality mods for Skyrim in general and fortunately it is coming to Xbox One still. Don't worry Xbox users, this should be getting a release hopefully in 2017. But without a doubt, one of the best armor mods to come out and probably one of the best ones ever for Skyrim. So this one's a bit interesting, the Bosmer armor pack is actually partially included in immersive armors. So part of what makes that mod so great is, well, the contents of this mod, but there's actually a little bit more added with the standalone Bosmer armor pack, so without a doubt, I think it's worth a download, plus it's available on Xbox One. So what does this mod add in? Well, four or five different armors, you're going to first and foremost have a plain armor, which is just simply going to be the most basic, it's going to have the worst stats, but it also comes with little weapons and a bow to go along with it. Then you're going to have a reinforced armor, which is going to provide more protection, it's actually lined with some kind of iron or steel and then moving on almost identical visually just having some kind of minor marks and stuff like that on the armor the Bosmer elder armor is going to be kind of the late game variant of the predecessor armors this is actually something that's really cool because I like having a good armor mod over the long term not everyone likes changing their armor up all the time and it's gonna give you the option to kind of hold on to this for the rest of the game you could start off with the plain armor upgrade to the reinforced armor as you hit a little later in the game and then once you hit late game and really start to get high up in the levels the elder armor should pretty much carry you to completion. But then we also do have what is my personal favorite, the Bosmer Wild Hunt armor. I think this thing just looks absolutely amazing. This is actually one of my favorite armors from Immersive Armors, the whole pack of it. And with the standalone pack, it definitely is going to be my favorite as well. I think it just looks very cool, especially if you're playing kind of an evil or character or maybe a cannibalistic character. It also does come with a light variant, although I personally prefer just the regular variant. Regardless, this is a very high quality armor mod. It really is a little bit more than an armor mod, including a bunch of different weapons as well as some different different variants of those weapons as you go up the different tiers. If you're an Xbox user or just want a more focused and expansive experience on PC, I would definitely recommend downloading this one. So next up we have the Volkahar Knight. This mod really stood out to me because it was a pretty unique mod, adding in some quality content and all around just looking pretty cool. What's going to add in is a kind of vampire knight armor. This is an armor meant to be used by vampire characters. Although there's no reason you can't use it on a typical character, it's just obviously made with that focus in mind. And on top of that, I think the armor itself just looks pretty cool. I really like the kind of mesh between kind of a normal kind of leather armor and some steel or iron components with it. I just really like the look of that and the cloth added in as well. So what makes this mod so cool is the Three different versions of this armor. First and foremost, you have the Royal Guard version. This is going to be the red variant, and more or less what this is going to do is give you a 15% chance to throw melee attackers into the air, draining their health by 20 points for 4 seconds. So then there is the Abyss Walker, that's going to be the blue variant, and it's going to muffle your footsteps and allow vampires to regenerate stamina, magicka, and health in sunlight. And then finally, the Assassin variant is going to be that kind of dark gray color, and this is going to turn you into a wisp of smoke when you sneak outside of combat, granting you invisibility. This is actually going to be my 
personal favorite as I found to be just the most useful out of all the options. All around, again, this is a really high quality armor mod. Obviously, the armor itself does look very good, but I actually think adding in these little perks just make it stand out so substantially over a lot of the other armor mods out there. Like, which armor mod would you download personally? The one that just looks good or the one that looks good and gives you a bunch of cool abilities that you could actually use? And honestly, they're not overpowered either. Again, this is really an armor mod that did stand out from the pack and something I hope other armor mods do inspire to do in the future. So next up, we have a relatively simple mod, and not like any of the other mods on this list, but one that I think is very cool. That's going to be Vandalier. What it's going to add in is a number of different items to put on your character and on your existing armor that are going to increase some kind of carrying weight. So some of them are for books, some of them are for potions, some of them are just for flat out items, and they come in different sizes and shapes so you can put them on seven different locations on your character. Each of these are going to define, one, how many things you could carry, so like some of the different book pouches will add on like five books, while some of the flat out Vandalier packages can add up to 100 extra pounds of carrying weight. All around, this is a very simple again, but I think a very cool mod, and it's really cool that it could really be traversed onto any of the different armors in the game. It's something that I think fits in with a lot of the different armors. I'm only showing you some of the colors in the B-roll here, but there's a lot of different color options available, so you really can make it work with whatever you're wearing. And on top of that, it's one of those mods that is going to always have a use. You always can use more carrying weight. I don't agree with you if you say you can't. So last but certainly not least, we have the Murda Assassin armor. So it's going to be kind of the only female only or slooty armor on this list, but I think this one really just stands out from all the other armors simply because of how much quality and detail is put into this singular armor. Simply by how much variation and how many different items are with this armor. Almost every individualized piece of clothing you see wearing on this character can be taken off or changed. You can have different leggings, have different underwear, different kind of torso pieces. It also includes two different blades that you could wear on your character which looks absolutely amazing when using them and each piece of this kind of armor is just really high quality it looks extremely sharp the texture quality and of course the model quality are just top notch and although again this is not going to be an armor for everyone it's actually one of the few armors of this category that was ported over to xbox one and even beyond all that i think when it's actually on your character if you use one of the less sleuty versions it definitely looks pretty good and it definitely has a kind of assassin vibe to it which i think obviously can fit very well into skyrim special edition that's pretty much going to wrap it up for my best armors of 2016. Obviously, again, I don't think everyone's going to agree with the video or really just my choices in this video due to just the polarizing effect that different armor mods for Skyrim do have, but hopefully you can at least respect my video and you found something that you did like in it. In the comments down below, let me know what your favorite armor is. Also, if you did watch through this point in the video, comment lead down below. This is actually my first video back at college. I just moved in yesterday, so let me know. Did it sound okay? Hopefully it did. Regardless, as always, thank you guys for watching. I do hope you enjoyed again, and I hope to see you all next time. Later.